night commander's mad. I wish you really were the Viscount. The Viscount had no heir. Will you take his place, champion? I've got a daughter in the circle. There's a lot of mages in the city who aren't blood mages. Would you be our Viscount, champion? I know I feel safe with you in the keep. I had hoped to find you. Unlike the rest of the Ba's filth in this city, the Ereshach considered you Bazalit An. Many Kunari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Kunari sword, return it to me. Don't you want their bodies too? Their husks serve no purpose. The weapons shall satisfy a demand of the Kuhn. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. I was speaking to Donick the other day. Since when do you talk with my husband? He comes to the mansion once a week. We play Diamondback. What? Why am I not invited to these games? He says you get angry when you lose. I do not. All right, perhaps I do. Still, that's no reason not to tell me. He's a good man, Aveline. I enjoy his visits. Fine, fine. Have your man time, then. If you ask me. Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined. Ruined! Don't panic. Tell me what happened. A cart came back from the boon pit, half-wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. The horse pulling the cart was the only survivor, and it does not speak. Town full of rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. I'll see what's going on. Until then, try to stay calm. I knew I could depend on you. Just like old times, partner. Hello again, Hawk. Or should I call you the champion? I'm 
never going to get this all done. Good day, Captain Abilene. Good day, champion. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. It must have taken a lot of practice to say that all in one breath. It's mostly to impress the ladies, I assure you. I've come to ask your help, champion. Hiding among the Dalish is an elven assassin I've been chasing for months. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. You want me to use my wily, wily ways to find out where the Dalish are hiding this elf? That is part of it, yes. This elf is very dangerous, and he must be brought in before he kills again. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sarah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history? Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic broodmothers, usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible's happened. I'd tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep... My poor brother... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. 
Please, go back to the deep roads. Find my brother. You must. Good. Carry on. Frankly, I prefer the refugees. My town is lovely this time of day. The Knight Commander's getting out of control! Oh, that dog. Well, maybe Chu marks add character to the piece. bring myself to change anything about mother's rule. I hope all is well, mistress. Easy boy. What is it? Right, let's see. Please don't open the door. You've caught a burglar. Good boy. My legs are cramping. Please just let me go. You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, sir. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age, but your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. Give you to the count of five before I sick my Mabari on you. What? Surely you wouldn't. One. B but. Two. <laughs> three, four, five. Make sure our guest leaves quickly.
You like the shiny? Everything here is cold. Hard stone. I wish I'd worn shoes with soles now. Right behind you, Hawk. I enjoy following you. So he comes down wearing nothing but his boots. We have a few drinks and everyone's laughing at him, but he doesn't care. He was naked. Just airing things out, he said. Ha! Ah! How have you been? You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat-flavored whiskey. Right. <sighs> Remember what you said after the mess with the Kunari. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those Canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. 
and I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. to call it the Bone Pit. Long ago, slaves that dropped dead from exhaustion were thrown into a pit for all the others to see. It served as intimidation and convenient disposal.
Phew. Now we can relax.
So who is Bianca? My crossbow. Say hello, Bianca. But why Bianca? You must have named her after someone. Nope. Mirabelle was taken. The way you fondle your weapon is disturbing. Hey, I'm a perfect gentleman. In public. A dragon attacked your mine. Everyone is dead. Dear Maker, what of my equipment? Did it seem salvageable? Unfortunately, your precious equipment didn't make it. And neither did your workers. Oh, my heart. So many years of investment. I am ruined. Ruined. I'm sorry, champion. I appreciate your help. But I sank all my coin into that rotten mine. I have nothing left to pay you. I slew the dragon to protect the city. I need no coin from you. A jump bloody dog lord. Welcome to the High Town Market. Hawk, over here. You were courageous to speak openly against the Knight Commander. Your words did not fall on deaf ears. Several nobles are discussing, quietly, what to do about Meredith. I cannot tarry here for risk of Templar spies. If you would make common cause with us, read this. I could use all the allies I can get. Secrecy is paramount. I'll communicate by messenger if the need arises. Make a look after you, Hawk, and our fragile endeavor. Still owe me five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good for it. So you think you can win the coin from Isabella? <laughs> good luck with that. Coming to the Hanged Man for Wicked Grace later? Never miss it. The anchor from our mage. Welcome back, my friend. My store has never been better stocked thanks to you. Although I have nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite welcome to bring back any rare specimens you may come across. I'd be more than happy to craft something just for you. It's the least I can do for the champion of Kirkwall. I took this fire gland from a high dragon just outside the city. You killed a high dragon? Incredible. Let me see the fire gland. It was either her life or mine. I chose mine. And that I am glad to hear. This fire gland is a remarkable specimen. Wait here. I know exactly what I can craft from this. This turned out beautifully. Something worthy of our champion. I hope you can put it to good use. All mages are confined to their quarters. Champion, it seems you've become less a friend to the Templars in the years since your ascent. 
But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? Everyone says the Knight Commander's gone crazy. Are you still behind her? The people ask too much of her. She needs a spine of iron to survive her position. I have seen madness before. I saw Aldred's eyes when there was nothing human left in them. The Knight Commander. She is not there yet. But I do not have to ask where the rumors come from. If it comes to war with the mages, whose side do you think the Grand Cleric will take? She is bound by faith and duty to support the Templars. We have dominance over mages by divine right. But it is cruel how she leads them on, letting them think they might have a chance at rebellion. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. The Knight Commander needs vigilance and obedience in these troubled times. The mages have spies in our order, I tell you. You can't trust anyone. I wouldn't advise talking with me, Sarah. People talk about the circle like it's a prison. It's no different than anywhere in Sedas. I know you supported the first Enchanter when he spoke out against Meredith. I hope you will be ready, should it come to picking sides. Every time she looks away, you stare at Hawk with those sad puppy eyes. There are no puppy eyes. It's all right, you know. Even you can be happy once in a while. It won't kill you. But your face might crack if you smile, so be careful. I've done nothing wrong. You harbored a known apostate. What crime is feeding my cousin? She was whipped, half starving. It is a crime against the Maker. The sentence is... Intruders, deal with them. I was dead. 
I just let her stay the night. I was going to say something about being fond of that house, but who am I kidding? It makes Undercity look nice. So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. He certainly produced an amazing daughter. Your mother would be proud. I just wish mother had lived to see me become champion. I know Leandra, and she'd be absolutely glowing from all the praise that's been heaped on you. I don't say this often, but... With Bethany locked in the gallows, you're the only real family I have left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you've pulled it out of the grave. Anders. You pity him. He's dangerous to himself and everyone around him. I think he's broken the thing he wanted to save. You pity him because he's you. Breaking the things you love most isn't restricted to mages, Fenris. Sadly true. Elves who don't live here actually have it worse. I'd hate to be an elf in Darktown. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
This tree is one of the only things left that reminds us city elves of who we are. Merchants here keep trying to sell me shoes. I'm not sure why. So, you and Hawk? What about us? I want to make sure I get all the details right when I tell this story. Did you sweep her off her feet, or was it the other way around? I'm not telling you anything but this. There was no actual sweeping involved. Every little bit helps, Elf. I never should have gotten involved with that cursed mine. For now, I am refocusing on mercantile as my primary business. I have some new items in stock. We're good to... Not much to see here. 